This mystery has puzzled the economists for 200 years. For 200 years, economists could not crack this mystery, known as the War Diamond Paradox. And the War Diamond Paradox goes like this. Why are diamonds more expensive than water? If prices reflect values, why are diamonds more expensive than water? Diamonds are useless. Water is vital. We need water to stay alive. So why are diamonds more expensive? Economists couldn't understand this for 200 years, but we will solve this problem in the next few minutes, because this video is about the answer, and the answer is marginal thinking. Every time you make a decision, you compare costs versus benefits. But you don't just compare costs versus benefits. You compare marginal costs versus marginal benefits. Marginal cost is the cost of one more unit. Marginal benefit is the benefit pleasure, happiness, gains that you will get from one more unit. Every time you make a decision, you compare marginal cost versus marginal benefit. You compare what you will lose versus what you will gain. You compare the cost of one more unit, the cost of one more cup of coffee, one more glass of water, one more diamond, versus the benefit, the pleasure, that diamond, that glass of water, that cup of coffee will bring you. We think marginally. We think step by step. We break down every decision into a bunch of small decisions. We think at margins. Imagine you're deciding whether or not to buy a cup of coffee. When you're deciding, you're comparing marginal cost, the cost of the cup of coffee, the price, with the benefit, the marginal benefit, the happiness, the pleasure you will get from the next cup of coffee. Imagine a plane, a plane going to Paris. And right before the takeoff, there are a few empty seats. What can you say about marginal cost versus marginal benefit? Marginal cost, the cost of taking one more passenger on board, it's, it's almost nothing. It's the cost of the snack the company, the airline, gives its customers. So it's the cost of the horrible tea and that horrible muffin the airline gives its customers. But the marginal benefit will be the price that passenger, that extra passenger will pay, which is probably a lot. So marginal cost is almost zero. Marginal benefit is a lot. And this difference explains last minute deals when airline slash airfares dramatically. Consider this example. Jack wants to launch a store. He has already invested $1 million and he wants to make $2 million. The store was almost finished when Jack realized that the store will generate only $200,000. And to finish the store, Jack needs to spend 
100,000. Should he finish the store? Let's analyze this problem in terms of marginal thinking. We have a few numbers. Let's go over them one by one. So Jack has already invested 1 million into the store. Does it matter? No. Marginal cost and marginal benefit are about the cost and the benefit of one more unit. The past is gone. The past doesn't matter. So that one million dollars that Jack has already invested, it's gone. Forget about it. Now, Jack wants to make two million dollars. Doesn't matter? No. Because now we know that the store will generate 200,000. That's the marginal benefit. And Jack needs to pay, spend 100,000 to finish the store. That's marginal cost. Marginal cost 100,000 versus marginal benefit 200,000. Should Jack finish the store? Yes. Because marginal benefit exceeds marginal cost. The wisdom of marginal thinking is this one. When you make decisions, ignore the past. The past is gone. What you have done is gone. There is no refund. What you have done doesn't matter. What matters is what you do next what you do from now on. What matters is what you will lose, marginal cost, versus what you will gain, marginal benefit. The future matters. There is no shoulda, woulda, coulda in marginal thinking. Maybe you made many mistakes in the past. It, who cares? Maybe you made Good things in the past. Who cares? It doesn't matter. What matters is what you do next. Marginal thinking is all about the future. How many times people say, I already invested so much time and energy into this relationship, into this marriage. I can't just walk away. That's a wrong argument. What you already invested is gone. And how many investors say, I already invested so much money into this stock, I can't just sell it. Wrong. It doesn't matter how much you already invested into the stock. The past is gone. It's called the sunk cost fallacy. When people cling to the past, to how much they invested into something, to justify their wrong decisions. The past is gone. What matters is the future. You should focus on what you do next. You should focus on the future. Let's now go back and solve the water diamond paradox. What can we say about marginal benefit of water and diamonds? Imagine you're thirsty and someone gives you a glass of water. The marginal benefit of the glass of water will be huge. This glass of water will save you from thirst. But imagine, but after you had your first glass of water, someone gives you the second glass of water. What is the marginal benefit of the second glass of water? It will be very small. Because you already drank water. You are no longer thirsty. You are no longer dying of thirst. So the marginal benefit, the pleasure of the second glass of water will be very small. The marginal benefit 
of the third glass of water will be even smaller. Marginal benefits of water fall almost immediately. What about diamonds? Imagine someone rich who keeps buying diamonds. He bought his first diamond, second diamond, third, fourth, fifth diamond. What's happening to the marginal benefits of diamonds? They remain pretty much the same. The fifth diamond is as much as enjoyable as the first one. This guy is not going to say, I already have four diamonds. Maybe I don't need the fifth one. No. He will keep buying diamonds and every next diamond will be pretty much as enjoyable, as precious, as valuable as the first one, as the second one. Marginal benefits of diamonds remain stable. So what do we have? Marginal benefits of diamonds remain stable. Marginal benefits of water fall almost immediately. For centuries, economists believed that prices reflect benefits. But the truth is, prices reflect marginal benefits. We just solved the 200 year old mystery, the water diamond paradox. And you learned how to make decisions, how to think at margins. If you have a question or a comment, put it below. If you liked the video, click the like button. Thank you.